Did you know baseball is found in the Bible? It's found in Genesis 1-1, the very first verse in the Bible. It says, in the big inning. <laughs> uh. The Bible doesn't really mention sports specifically, like baseball or football or women synchronized swimming. Hmm. But it does mention some specific things that athletes can leverage to hone their craft. One exceptional verse really hammers home a principle that numerous college and professional athletes are missing today. To me, it's more common sense than anything, but it's nonetheless a relevant reminder. 2 Timothy 2.5 says, similarly, anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown except by competing according to the rules. The Apostle Paul writes about the military, athletics, and then farming. All to get across the point, be strong, work hard, and endure hardship. Please your leader and accomplish the mission. In the military, prior to this verse, the job is to carry out your commander's orders 24-7. There's a real enemy who is trying to destroy us. We are soldiers under the chief commander, Jesus, and life is a battlefield for sure. After this verse I read, Paul talks about a farmer who enjoys the first fruits of his labor. He's distinguishing between the slacker farmer who does nothing and has nothing to show for it versus the hardworking farmer who reaps the reward. In the text that I read, Paul talks about athletes needing complete devotion and stamina to win in sports. College and professional athletes are usually beasts. <laughs> These guys and gals are among the strongest and most fit individuals in the world. It not only takes training and stamina, it takes following the rules. Just this year, there are over 40 NFL players alone who got suspensions for performance-enhancing drugs. Two of them were on the Bears, the Chicago Bears. They definitely need some enhancing, but it doesn't seem to be working. You'd think whether it's malicious or accidental, when you're making millions of dollars a year and there are clear rules of what not to use for peak performance, you'd steer clear of doping it up. You gotta follow the rules, guys. They're there for a reason, even if you don't agree with the rule or like the rule. It's a rule and you agreed to the rule when you signed up to play the sport. And although following Christ is all about love and grace and mercy and forgiveness, there are some rules put in place for our own good, for our best interest, to get God's best for our life. We may not like them, we may not agree with them, but when Christ is our Lord, we agreed to the rules when we signed up for the faith, a faith that requires stamina, hard work, enduring hardship, and following the rules. We don't hear much of that in America today. Churches have taken the Bible and faith and a relationship with Christ and turned it into some mushy, mamsy-pamsy kind of milk toast faith that requires almost nothing from the follower of Christ. It's just not true. Christianity and eternal life are free for sure, but it'll cost you your very life. But it's the best decision I've ever made. Have you given your life to God through Jesus? Today can be the day. Mm -hmm.